Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about list segmentation. Um, there's different ways to segment it and whatnot, so I'll be diving into that. Before we start, if you're not already on my newsletter, please sign up, join, subscribe. You'll get awesome weekly tips just like this video. Um, so just go to Chase Diamond, there's no A in Diamond, a backslash newsletter, click here to start, enter your email. All right, let's dive into some segmentation. So when we think about segmentation, there's a couple ways that we segment audiences. Uh, the first is based off engagement. So whether someone has opened or clicked an email um, in X number of days. So a 30 day engaged, a 60 day engaged, a 90 day engaged, and so on. So I'm gonna walk you guys through right now how to create, for example, a 30 day engaged. Um, and here's how I think about creating these segments and who you should send. Um, so when you send a campaign, the benchmark for the open rates should be 20% or higher. Um, and if you send every single day, then the segment that you should hit should be more restrictive and more, more limited. So if you send, you know, campaign every single day, which most people don't, um, you should be leveraging maybe a 30 day or 45 day engaged segment. The reason for that is you've sent 30 to 45 emails. If someone hasn't opened or engaged with a single email, the likelihood of them continuing to engage or ever open an email is probably pretty slim. Whereas if you send a few times a week, a few times a month, you could probably get away sending to a 60, 90, 120 day engage, potentially even, you know, all the way up to 180. You just have to monitor kind of your open rates. And if you're well above 20%, then you can kind of go from a 90 day engage to a 120 day engaged. But let's dock into a, a 30 day engage. So in this chase, 30 day engaged. So you're gonna start, I always just add this by saying someone is not suppressed. Um, and then this one's gonna be pretty simple. It's just gonna be that someone has opened email at least once in the last 30 days, or um, you know, someone has clicked an email at least once in the last 30 days. All right, so get that segment, super simple. There's a lot of other things you could add. Um, maybe someone hasn't purchased, uh, or maybe someone has purchased, et cetera. But just for a really high level kind of 30 day engaged, someone's not suppressed and they've opened or clicked in the last 30 days. So that's one example. Um, say we want to do that, but we want to just target the second option, which is gender, right? So 30 day engaged targeting men. So in Clavio, they have something called predictive analytics, and that will actually tell you whether someone's likely female, likely male, or they're unsure. So if we go over here to predictive analytics, and then we look for um, predictive gender, if we say someone is likely male, right? So this is the 30 day engaged targeting men. So if we have a product that we sell just for men um, or just for women or just for kids, we're gonna wanna send people in the men's bucket product that are relevant to them. So let's update this. So we had 8,800 before that were in that window. Now it's saying, you know, right about half, a little less than half of them are men. All right, so same thing if we wanna do this for women. All right, so we'd say someone's likely female. Again, this isn't a perfect science, but it gives you kind of a rough estimate and a good you know, use case, right? So just a quick check, Pauletta, Alexis, Ruth, like looks like men, women. So this, this company has less women on their list. And you'll see that obviously there was 3,000 something before. There's 1,500 here now. Um, there's a percentage that Clavio is unsure about, um, which means that they won't tell you that. And um, they won't give you that. They'll basically say they're uncertain. So that's where the remaining people went. Um, so that's another way to segment is based off engagement plus gender. Um, another thing that we do, um, for example, when recording this video, it's on June 30th, um, for the 4th of July, which is this weekend, you'll be watching this video after 4th of July. Um, you don't want to hit everyone in the world about that. You only want to hit people here in the U S so we could do something like someone is located here, uh, in the U S right. So I would always have to update this, but this is 30 day engaged of people here in the U S right. So ignore the title. Um, so that means everyone that's not in this segment is outside of the US. So um, location is another one, especially for holidays that are relevant to specific places. Um, we can do a 30 day engaged, say we sell products that where we sell flip flops, shorts, sandals, beanies, hoodies, you know, you name it. Um, say it was the winter or the spring, 
you know, we might want to send people on the West Coast an email with the sandals and the flip flops because it's always nice, you know, where we are on the West Coast. But on the East Coast, we want to probably send in people that are wearing beanies and whatnot. Um, so what we could do is 30 day engaged um, based on West Coast. What we could do is go over here, basically say someone's proximity to a location. So we could say you know, someone's within 500 miles of my zip code. I live in Orange County, California, and they're based here in the you know, US, right? So we can obviously, we would have to add a couple other cities and a couple other radiuses, but just as an idea, you know, there's a thousand people, right, that live kind of in this area within California. Um, so you could send emails to these people um, with product for warmer weather, whereas on the East Coast, you know, maybe in the winter or the spring, you send people different types of products. So again, kind of quickly going through what we had, we were segmenting based off engagement, you know, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, et cetera. We were segmenting based off of gender. We were segmenting based off of geo. And, you know, those are a couple of ways to do it. You know, the other way to do it is based off of people purchasing or not purchasing, right? So, um, again, I don't want to give away too much info on this company, so I'm not going to kind of go any further, but you could say, say you have a product A and product B, and those are typically bought together. You could say someone has, um, you know, purchased, someone has placed an order, and you could kind of add the filter for, um, you know, the collection or the specific item or the specific SKU, right? And say that people bought product A but not product B. You want to send an email to the people that brought product A, introducing product B and saying it pairs well with product A for reasons X, Y, and Z. So this is kind of at a high level, some stuff about segmentation. Um, and I hope this helps. If you have any questions, as always, hit me up on Twitter. i to reply to this email. And once again, if you're not already on my list, please do subscribe. Thank you.